Good day viewers, my name is Sarah Ayodeji Fatima Shea. I co-pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Discipleship Centre Portsmouth with my wonderful husband, Pastor Ayo Fatima Shea. Our topic for today is first the fruit. Our Bible passage is taken from 2 Kings 2, 23 to 24. Then he went up from there to Bethel. And as he was going up the road, some youths came from the city and mocked him and said to him, go up you bald head. Go up, you bald head. So he turned around and looked at them and pronounced a curse on them in the name of the Lord. And two female bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the youths. Memory verse. Ephesians 5 verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness and truth. Our reflections. It is a wonderful thing to see the glory of God and to experience his power in everything we do. Moses in the book of Exodus chapter 33 prayed a prayer. Lord, show me your glory. The Lord told him that he was asking for was too dangerous and that there is no one who can see him and live. God had put Moses on a rock, our rock of defense and our solid rock, which is Jesus Christ. And he also hid him within the cleft of a rock to cover him so he would not die. When we desire to have the power of God, we must be careful how we use the power. The story of Elisha that we read today is very disturbing. The man got the double portion of the spirit and anointing of Elijah. And after revoking the curse that was pronounced upon Jericho, he was going up the road and some naughty youths mocked him. He became angry and cursed the youths in the name of the Lord. Two female bears appeared just from nowhere and mauled 42 of the youths. Now, it is true that there was a demonstration of power and the anointing upon the life of Elijah. But in the real sense, what would have been the reaction of the parents and relations of those youths? When we have the power and anointing from the Lord, God expects us to use the gift carefully. That is the reason that it is better to have fruit of the Spirit. The Bible tells us that the, that the fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Looking at the fruit listed, it would be apparent that, that they are not necessary. The best of tools for those who would want to deal with situations harshly, they require a great level of caution in their use. That is why anyone who wants the power and the anointing from the Lord must pray for the operation of the fruit of the Spirit in his or her life. Just like our daddy, Pastor Adiboy, anyone who desires the full extent of the power of God must know how to possess, use his anointing with caution. Daddy, Pastor Adiboy, testified that knowing the grace of God and the scope of the power of God in his life, he does everything to avoid getting angry. Daddy has testified that because of God, and the power of God in his life, he can never get angry. He has testified many times to people that he can never get angry because God has given him that spirit and he has, he has anointed him. And I pray for you today that the same spirit upon daddy will come upon you today in the name of Jesus. Ensure that you grow the fruit of the spirit in your life before asking for a full complement of the power of God upon your life. If you don't, it can be dangerous. If not, you might become a disaster to yourself and the kingdom of God. Key point, you need the fruit of the Spirit to ensure you don't end up in hell after receiving and manifesting the gifts of the Spirit. I pray for you today that every fruit of the Spirit that you need, whether it be long suffering, peace, I pray the Lord shall put upon you today in the name of Jesus. I pray for the manifesting gifts of the power of God to come upon you in the name of Jesus. This is Sarah Ayodeji Fatima Shea. Until I come your way again, remain blessed in Jesus' name.